Hi there. So, this evening I will be playing around with some Christmassy tinsel. In this video there will be three different types. So hopefully we'll get some different noises out of each. And it won't be too repetitive for you. So I'm going to start with the most traditional kind of tinsel. Well, modern traditional. cheapest tinsel you get in all colours that you can get in any shop. So yeah, it's the simple tinsel you can wrap around anything. It's kind of got a little not wire, almost wire center. Yeah, it probably does have a wire center. Don't know, I'll do. So that you can kind of wrap them around banisters or window ledges. This one I have is quite long and quite thick compared to most cheap tinsels. It's quite full. Some you get are very thin and a bit cheap looking. This one's alright. Okay, so this is the end. Let's bring it back this way. Look at the tinsel worm. Are you someone that puts the tinsel on before the ornaments or after the ornaments? I know different people have different orders. Some like to put the lights first, then tinsel, then ornaments. I would say I put the lights first, then tinsel, then ornaments, then chocolates. I guess there must be other orders like Maybe putting tinsel first, then lights. I don't see putting the ornaments first though. And then there are other places. I know they put real candles on the tree in Germany, for example. That's what well, sounds crazy, but I guess on pretty stable ornaments, attachments, and they all stay next to the tree. So it doesn't seem that dangerous when you think about it. And of course there's people that don't like the plastic trees. Or there are people that don't like the real trees. Some people are allergic also. And then, well, I guess people that like really traditional stuff, we would have real holly, popcorn on a string. That 
sort of thing, very homemade. And then there are people that go way out and they have like plastic white Christmas trees or even pink, I guess. And obviously, I'm only talking about people that celebrate Christmas because there's a lot of people in the world that don't. A lot, lot, lot. So, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you can still get some relaxation out of these Christmas videos. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the next tinsel. Just say goodbye to the silver. a small kind of fluffy tinsel out of red and green like the silver one very thin and then they have little almost like berries coming off and then the little holly leaves coming off it's just like a kind of garish um, holly I like it. This I will wrap around the mantle and around the place at Christmas time. It's very easily put into shape and it stays quite well so it's good for decorating. And I don't mind everything not looking 100% handmade or anything like that. I do like handmade and classy stuff at Christmas too. But I'm not a Christmas snob. I do like a bit of cheese. This is actually very rustly sounding. Let's see if we can't get that into a nice spiral. Makes a lot of noise this one. I hope it's not too much and it's still relaxing. Nice little <laughs> spiral. If it stays in place, shoot. Yeah. So, this one is quite cute. I don't have a favourite out of these two. I like them both for different reasons. But, the third one, the third tinsel is my favourite because it's beautiful, basically. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna stay too long on the second one because I'm not so keen on the noises, not as much as the first and probably the last one. So bye green and red.
So this one is actually in a sandwich bag from last year and as you can see it is very pretty angel hair um, angel hair is that kind of it's like tinsel um, but not all stuck together it's all it's like loose loose tinsel and angel hair was that um, the long gold or silver strands that you get that just like kind of flow down the Christmas tree and this is pretty much the same thing but each strand is all crinkled up the edges are all crinkly and it's all crinkled up so it almost looks like kind of fairy snow or something. I don't know how to explain it but it's absolutely beautiful. And here with the lights it almost looks neon. So this is definitely my favourite tinsel. And I have had this same lot of tinsel for the last maybe three or four years. And it is reusable. It certainly gets everywhere, but it's not annoying like some things that get everywhere. It's very easily removed. For example, if you have a strand stuck somewhere on the couch or on a piece of clothing, it's very easily removed and stays quite together. So you can just put it back in to the rest of it. So I guess you can probably guess why it's called Angel Hair because it's very beautiful. And it's a little springy too. Gonna bring a little bit closer to the camera. Seems kind of silly just to make a video to show you what tinsel I'll be using this year, but I guess you know why. It's ASMR. See where we can get sounds. And since Christmas is coming up, I'm trying to make everything a little themed. It's fun. So I hope you enjoyed this and it was relaxing and I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you next time.